Here comes the general. Ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the general. The moment you've been waiting for. Here comes the general. Good morning, Generals, and welcome to a wet Wednesday. Hope you guys have been doing well and making sure that you're doing what you need to do to be successful. Have quite a few announcements for you today, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Want to first go ahead and recognize that this month is Native American Heritage Month. So I want to give a special shout out to all of our students and faculty members that have Native American in your blood. This is your month, and we are celebrating you. Today is also a very special day because today is Veterans Day. We want to give a special shout out to all of our veterans across the world, but more importantly to our veterans here inside of the building. We thank you so much for your service and all that you have done to ensure that we can be a free and safe country. And we also want to thank you for going the extra mile and continuing your work on the front lines by working here at Shiloh High School and being in the world of education. So again, a special shout out to all of our veterans. Happy Veterans Day and a special general salute to all of you. All right, want to recognize and shout out a few students. If you guys know Kennedy Obado, Kennedy is a senior here at Shiloh High School, and he has a special opportunity of serving on the Superintendent's Advisory Council for students. That is a big deal. So if you see Kennedy, please make sure you give him a special shout out. And we also want to shout out our very own Nathan Solomon. Nathan is the one student who made it to state with our cross country team. So a special shout out to Nathan and a special shout out to our cross country team and Mr. Moni who coached them all throughout the season. All right, other announcements and things that are going on. Yesterday, seniors during generals time, hopefully all of you were participating and were active because there was a very special announcement that was announced for seniors. It is that time of year for you to order your class rings and your letterman jackets. So if you missed that opportunity, please make sure you go to the e-class page, juniors and seniors. This goes for all of you. On this coming Tuesday, Balfour will be on campus to take your orders. So please make sure you check out the flyers, go back and look at the video, and make sure that you are ready to make the purchases for your class rings as well as for your letterman jackets. All right, other things that are going on this Friday, it is picture day. Hey, students, we are working very hard to ensure that you have a yearbook for this year. But one of the things that we need to make sure that happens is that you are in the yearbook. So students, if you are in person, please make sure you show up this Friday in the old gym to get your picture taken. And if you are a digital student, we have all afternoon scheduled for you to come in and take your pictures. Do not miss this opportunity. We want you in the yearbook. So in order for that to happen, we need to make sure that you are here. All right, other things that are going on, you guys know that we just finished up and still are in the process here in Georgia of counting ballots and making sure that all votes have been heard and accounted for. But it looks like there may be the opportunity for voting to take place again in January where you, staff and students can make a difference. If you're a student and you're going to be 18 by January 5th, you can participate in the potential upcoming runoff for the Senate seat here in Georgia. So if you're interested in making sure that you are registered to vote, please make sure you go by B30 and check out Miss Easterling and she will make sure that all of you are registered to vote. Make sure you do your civic duty and vote. And thank you to everyone that participated in the most recent le elections. We're still waiting to find the results for here in Georgia. All right, other things that are going on, let's talk a little bit about sports. As you know, our girls' flag football team has already gotten started. They had a game last night against Brookwood. I haven't heard the results of that. But if you get the opportunity, please make sure you go out and support all of our student athletes, in particular our girls in their flag football. Basketball season is now underway. We have our first scrimmage game that will be taking place on tomorrow here at Shiloh High School. We will be playing Heritage High School. So if you can, please make sure you come out and support. We do have limited seating. So if you are interested for all of the games, please make sure you get your tickets in advance. And this Friday, we will have a home football game against Lanier. This was supposed to be our homecoming game, but homecoming has been pushed back one more week. Homecoming will take place on November 21st. So if you are interested in coming, please make sure you come out. It is on a Saturday, so it is just before Thanksgiving break. So we want to make sure. 
All right, students, that was the live bell. So all of you should have been live at the time this bell went off. But again, homecoming will be on Saturday, November 21st. Yesterday during your general time, the announcements came out that any student that is interested in being a part of the homecoming court, you need to make sure you go to the e-class page and submit your names. We always recognize the students from 9 through 12 with our king and queen being selected from my senior class. In order to be a part of that, you need to make sure you are nominated. And then the final names who have made it past the, uh, the rules that you need in order to be a part of the court will be announced later on this week with voting to take place very early into the weekend and next week. So again, the homecoming court nominations ends today. So students, if you are interested in being a part of that, please make sure you go in and sign up on eClass. All right, generals, today is a Wednesday, and as you know, on Wednesdays, I must give you some words of wisdom. Words of wisdom for this Wednesday. Do not put off until tomorrow what you can do today. Again, do not put off until tomorrow what you can do today. You need to take advantage of every single minute of the day. That means that making sure that you are doing what you need to do to be successful. That means making sure you are taking care of your loved ones and making sure that they know that you care and love them. You need to take advantage of every opportunity and don't put off until tomorrow what you can do today. That makes me think about grades. Students, you all need to make sure that you are taking advantage of the schedule that we have created for you, that you are taking advantage of the opportunities that your teachers are giving you. Don't wait until next week to try and turn in an assignment that you know that was due a month ago, and then you're wondering, why isn't my grade in there? I've already turned it in. Well, your teachers have a lot of work to do, and they have to go back and find the assignment and make sure that they're putting it in so that you can get the credit. But if you take the time that you're given right then and there to take care of, then you don't have to worry about down in the future or waiting until tomorrow. You can take care of all of those, th those things today. So students, don't put off until tomorrow what you can do today. Many of you are participating in credit recovery and in reboot classes during general's time. And if you're not, you need to make sure that you are because that's an opportunity for you to recover credit. But remember students, I always remind you, I don't want you to have to recover your credit. I want you to gain your credit the first time around. And in order for that to happen, you need to be successful right now in your classes currently. All right, generals, those are all the announcements that I have for you today. Let's make sure we continue to focus on our mission, which is to relentlessly pursue high-level teaching and learning with a global perspective for all students and staff. And don't you forget, it is always a great day to be a general. I love you and I love Shiloh. General salute. Stay connected. Good morning, faculty and staff. I would like to thank you all for supporting all the veterans on this Veterans Day. And to all the veterans, thank you for your service. Have a good day. Hello, I'm Ms. Schrader, Media Specialist at Shiloh High School. And I'd like to say that I appreciate our veterans very much. It is indeed these women and men who give their time and their lives so that we can have our freedoms of today. Thank you to all of our veterans here at Shiloh. Thanks for all that you've done for our school, community, and country. This is SRO Angelina Edwards, and I want to say thank you to all of our veterans here at Shiloh and around the world. The sacrifices made by you and your family can never be properly imagined. So from my heart, I want to say thank you and happy Veterans Day. I want to give a shout out to all those veterans out there. My dad was a veteran as well, and I just want to say happy Veterans Day, enjoy your day, and thank you for your service. Hey, I just want to send a happy Veterans Day out to all the veterans. You know, we want to really thank you for all your service, everything you do for this country and have done for the country. So happy Veterans Day. Have a good one. Hi, all out there. I want to give a big thank you to all the veterans out there. No matter the branch, the dedication is the same. So the Shiloh General salutes you. Hello, Shiloh. I am Mr. Morales. I'm the sp one of the Spanish teachers in the school, and I'm here to thank all the veterans that, you know, serve our country. That's one of the reasons why we are the land of the free and the home of the brave. With that saying, thank you for all your support and all the moments that I have in this school. Once again, thanks to everyone, and God bless America. Thank you.
Hi, I'm Donna Hill. I'd like to thank all the veterans here at Shiloh High School. Happy Veterans Day. Hey Shiloh, this is Bill Wade of the History Department. Just want to take a moment of your time to give a shout out and a, and a heartfelt thank you to all the veterans, uh, all the teachers here who have people in their family that are veterans. We honestly can't thank you enough. Uh, coming from my heart because I'm an Army brat myself, my whole family's been in the Army, and so I know what it is, I know what it's all about, and I know what your sacrifice is, and we just thank you and we salute you. This is Coach Polk, and I want to send a shout out to all you veterans. I want to thank you for your service today. Hi, this is Robert Nolan with U.S. History in the History Department. Uh, I just wanted to take a moment here on this very special Veterans Day to thank all of our veterans in our community and as well as in our school, especially in our school. Uh, thank you for all of your service and all the service you continue to give us on this very special day. Uh, we, we thank you for everything you do. Good morning, Shiloh High School. This is Matt Sutton Cook from Shiloh's award-winning Air Force Junior ROTC, wishing all my veterans a happy Veterans Day. Also, those that decide to pull double duty and serve your country and also decide to serve your local community and your school, and wish you a happy Veterans Day. General salute. 